Well, the, the priority from, from day one was customer service, getting out there, seeing our customers, and, and ensuring that, one, that they're okay. The next steps would be the assessing of the damage. Oh, God, it's gone right through the garage as well. And we could hear this rushing water, and we both thought that that was the end of the heater tank and the ceiling. And when we stopped for a moment, we realised that the water wasn't rushing down, it was rushing up which you've just, you're then going, well, where's it coming from and what's happening? Yep. There's just all this stuff bubbling up from underground coming through any way that it could get up. Paul and I have lived here now for seven years and it was our dream. We love our area. Our wee girls starting school. And, um, yeah, it, you know, we've got lovely neighbours that we know and, you know, we're close to everything we need to be. And suddenly everything that, that we'd planned for the next few years is gone. 30 years after the earthquake, for some reason we only got single phase power. Now we need three phase to run the big fans and the um, bigger air conditioners here. With this business, being a seven day a week business, we were just so full on and trying to get it back into operation as quickly as possible. Massively relieved to have that business interruption policy. We weren't too sure we needed, but we sure as hell did. This was resting down on here. Yep. See where they repaired it there, yep. Just smashed this post right off. Farmers Mutual look like they're going to waive the excess, so that's a, a, a big saving for us. I'm very pleased that we're with FMG now. Hazel, this is. Oh my god. This is the, the archives room. Yeah that was purpose-built for all the old station records. Oh, okay. It's a bit shattering, isn't it? Oh, God. One of the things that's impressed me is the flexibility to respond to our particular needs, because this isn't a normal farmhouse. This was a false brick wall in the house, which we didn't really know was there. And the plaster had come down on the three-seater couch especially, and it was just piled up with bricks. It was almost as if bricks from the fireplace, which collapsed, and the wall, were meeting in the middle of this room. There were just so many. Demolish it, and demolish it in a way that we can try and save as much contents as, as possible. On the Sunday when my wife and I came down to have a look at the building, we were pleased to see it still standing. So we sort of felt as though it was going to be business as normal. When we realised the power was out, so it actually ended up taking nearly two weeks to get somebody to come in to check our cables. So there were some things that FMG had offered to us that we were sort of grey about whether we were ever going to need them or not. And if you take like the business interruption at the moment, at the time I couldn't see uh, how, how it was going to have any relevance to us. For any small business like ourselves, or any business really, business interruption it, it would have to be something that needs to be taken very seriously in the hindsight of what's just gone on for us. We spent probably a week after the earthquake sort of just tidying up with transferring grain. We had one silo that fell over and all the grain blew out in the yard so we had to try and retrieve all that and 35 tonne of barley sort of scattered around the yard is a bit of a challenge. Yeah, they certainly understand what we do and, and it makes it a lot easier to, um, to talk to them and go through the things because while well, going through a big list of forms it's very easy to forget something or, or not have something quite right um, which can be an issue later on. It goes through that horrible day of having to ship 800 cows fully in milk, just seeing them rub their udders raw from walking and knowing that just come through a great spring and had the cows primed ready to full production and then having to put them through the stress of that and just the trauma of, of putting your cows through that, it's, 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 it was really, really hard. As soon as I saw the platform off I, I actually thought to myself, Thank goodness for Bruce talking me into that farmer's loss of profit policy. We've had a bit of lost product through damage in the mill when the racking fell down, but we've, um, we've done pretty well to save what we've saved on it. With half an hour of me being on site, an FMG representative was on site telling us just to go ahead and do what needed to be done. Um, you know, had a quick look around at the damage. If you take plenty of photos, get done what you've got to do and get on with it.